Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 28. Today's lesson is on Animal Kingdom Phylum Mollusca. I am Ritrisha from GK today and I will be taking you through this. Phylum Mollusca is the second largest animal phylum after Arthropoda. They are terrestrial or aquatic, both marine and freshwater. Members of this phylum include snail, octopuses, squids, oysters, etc. The word mollusk means soft things and mollusks have soft bodies and this explains the name of the phylum. Since their body is soft, they are fragile and find it difficult to support their body in terrestrial environments. So many mollusks solve this problem by secreting a calcareous shell which functions as exoskeleton and prevents dehydration. There are five main classes of phylum mollusca which include bivalves, gastropods, cephalopods, scaphopods, Scapophods mean tooth shells and polyplacophora, which is made of chitins. Now, bivalves, gastropods, and cephalopods are commonly known as mollusca animals. Now, let us look at some major classes of mollusca. First, we start with bivalves. This group includes mollusks which have a calcium carbonate shell made of two usually similar parts called valves. These two valves are joined together with the help of a ligament at a point which is called hinge. Members of this class include clams, oysters, cockles, mussels, scallops, etc. Next is gastropods. All kinds of snails and slugs, big or small, marine or freshwater, even land snails are put in this class. This class of mollusks have an extraordinary diversity of habitats. They are found in gardens, woodlands, uh, deserts, mountains, lakes, small ponds, estuaries, mud flats, beaches and in abyssal depths of the oceans as well. They are called gastropods because they have their feet in their ventral region. A body of gastropods is divided into three main portions, the head, the visceral mass and the foot. Cephalopods. Cephalopods literally mean head feet. They are another class of mollusks which have a prominent head in a set of arms or tentacles. These arms are modified feet. The cephalopods are colloquially called inkfish because of their ability to squid ink. Uh, the octopus, squid and cuttlefish are some common examples of cephalopods. What are some salient features of mollusks? Mollusks have a complete digestion system with mouth and anus. They also have extracellular digestion which is not found in any phylum below them in taxonomical hierarchy. A few mollusks have a tongue-like structure that is used to scrape food. It is called a radula. Study of mollusks is known as malacology as we know. Um, aquatic mollusks respire through gills while terrestrial mollusks have a primitive lung. Shell of mollusks. Uh, are part, uh, particularly in bivalves and gastropods secrete an external calcareous cell uh, made of calcium carbonate which is the shell itself. This secretion is done by mantle, a fold in their epidermis. Now ecological and economic importance of mollusks. Mollusks play an important role in several food chains in the ecosystem. Many marine mollusks are a part of common human diet such as octopuses and squids which are very popular in Asia and oysters and mussels which are consumed all over the world. In addition to mola uh, that, mollusks are a part of the jewelry industry as pearls made by oysters have large commercial value. Now how are pearls formed? Pearls are made from small foreign particles that are deposited between the shell and the mantle of an oyster. These particles trigger a defense process in the organisms and are gradually covered by layers of calcium carbonate secreted by the oyster, thus producing pearls. In artificial production of pearls, a small fragment of the shell covered with mantle pieces is inserted between the shell and the mantle of an oyster and a pearl is formed around the graft. That's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel GK Today. Until the next tutorial, goodbye.